happy Easter Sunday, everybody. Just want to stop on and say happy Easter. Say hi, man. We just leaving church. Stopped off, y'all. It's Easter Sunday. I haven't even cooked yet. Real well, say, I know y'all ready to get home to y'all food. I don't know, y'all. Is anybody else like this? I don't like to cook my food early. And then I don't like to cook my food and leave it out while I go. I mean, it's not. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it because the church is only what I want to have. Because I, our church service started at 9, so 10.30, we're out. But I just don't want to have my food. I don't know, I remember my sister one time, my oldest sister who passed in November 16th, she was telling me how one time she had done, did a gumbo and um, she had called, gone to church, but she probably had Sunday school and church and everything. It probably was like three hours. But, and then I think some, we had some kind of communication at the church and when she got home, her food was poor. I just, I don't know. I wish I could. Like a lot of people cooked their food yesterday. I don't like to have it in the refrigerator and take it out and have to eat. I know that's crazy. I need to get out of that. Because it'll make it so much easier. Easier. You know, because a lot of times, like cornbread dressing, I'm doing, I'm baking one chicken, I'm baking a ham, I'm doing cornbread dressing, potato salad. My son don't like cornbread dressing, so I make him that broccoli rice casserole, which is very, very good. You know, I haven't got very many views, but if you make it just like that recipe that like I have, it is very, very, very good. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, one time I made that, and, um, I had, I had, we had a potluck and I had made two big pans of it because it, it was something we were doing for the employees. And um, I came in there, the stuff was going, and one man was had his finger. I have not lied. Look at the stuff out the bottom of the pan. It's really good though with the cheese whiz. But y'all, Walmart cheese whiz used to be $368, $378, I got some yesterday, $4.99. I'm like, oh my goodness. But all you do is two cups of rice. You gotta cook it though. So we make four cups of cooked rice. One pound of ground, ooh, I didn't take the ground beef out. One pound of ground beef, one 16 ounce bag of uh, broccoli cut spears, however you like it, florets, whatever. One can of cream of mushroom soup and the cheese whiz. You don't have to add any more cheese. You don't have to put cheese on the top. It's perfect. Mix that up together. Well, you know, you got to do your uh, you do your seasonings. I do like garlic. I don't like celery in my rice dishes. So I do bell pepper, onion, and garlic. I, I uh, saute that. Then I add my ground beef to it. I use grated to 80 20 ground beef. But for this, I don't drain the grease because I really don't have a whole, whole lot of grease. But I use them, be honest. If you don't like the grease, then you probably need to brown your ground beef and strain it first. Cause I, I don't like a lot of, but like, like I said, if it's too much, I just dip it out with the spoon, but I want some of that grease. And then you mix all it up together and then you add your toners, your onion, your garlic powder, your black pepper, and the key ingredient to this, now listen to me, cayenne pepper, not a whole, whole lot. But when I tell you, anybody that's ever tasted it like it, and it's not my recipe, I got it from my sister-in-law, and then I did find it in a cookbook. But when I tell y'all it's good, and if you're going to do a big pan, you just double the recipe. I took it to church one time, and, and, and everybody enjoyed it. I just like cooking. I like sharing food. Like, I done made a peach cobbler, and I did a pan of cinnamon rolls for cake uh, for church members this morning. And I ain't even started my own food at home. But like I say, I like my food fresh. I like my food piping hot and my drinks ice cold. <laughs> All right, y'all. Happy Easter. Enjoy your day. Make someone smile. And, hey, if you have anybody who especially family members who you haven't seen you haven't spoke to in a long time reach out to them y'all family is so important like Rev was saying we losing so many but we lost so many of our loved ones and friends during this pandemic it's just um you know everything with me y'all is love i don't have no hate or animosity towards anybody if you don't like me that's okay i still love you because god made you and he know all about you all right y'all be blessed much love make someone smile bye